Hey guys, today I'm going to install a new windshield here on the VTX that I got from Memphis Shades and I'm going to do some uh, some repair work on saddlebags. The laces came loose and rubbed some holes in there. I'm really going to need to buy some new bags to replace those but for the meantime I'm going to try to fix it with the uh, flux seal. We're going to see how this thing works. Uh, flux seal is the liquid rubber sealant coating. I'm um, going to have to open the garage up to do that. Let me show you what kind of damage we have going on there that we're going to try to repair. A little bit of wear marks there and right here. So I'll uh, clean this up and I'll tape this area off and this area off and put a whole bunch of coats on there and we'll see how long that lasts. I'm also going to install this windshield I got from Memphis Shades. Uh, let's see what this thing looks like. That's going to look really nice. And it came with this installation kit. So that's what I got to do next. First, I'm going to go outside and I'm going to spray a couple of coats of the Flex Seal on the saddlebags and then I'll get to work on the windshield. Okay, slight change of plans on the repair work to the saddlebag. Um, I don't think that the seal, or Flex Seal is even going to help out at all on this. I'm not even going to give it a chance to. That's actually a hole and there's no way I'm going to get enough Flex Seal. I'm not even going to try it. What I'm going to do since this is just a temporary thing, I am going to buy a new bag, but not right away. Um, I'm going to take some good old black duct tape, and I'm going to put it over the hole, and then I'm going to spray the uh, Flex Seal, and that's, that's what I'm going to do. Got to have a well ventilated space, so I opened up the garage door, got on a mask, ready to spray. Whew. That stuff comes out real quick. Thick. Okay, the windshield looks fairly easy to install. Uh, it came with four of these um, clamps that are adjustable per, the you know, whatever diameter you need. Um, these are going to mount directly to the forks. There will be two of them, one here, one here on each side. All right, these clamps do go on a certain direction um, and they need to go with this direction with the round facing forward because um, the instructions say, yeah I did read the instructions, but the instructions say they need to go this way or you're going to damage your tank. So if you didn't read the instructions or listen to me, you're going to damage your tank. You gotta insert these little rubber grommets in the holes. Let's 
So the button end that you'd think that would be on the outside for cosmetics purposes is actually on the inside of the windshield and it has you have no other option. It has to go on the inside. We'll tighten everything down once it's on the bike. Just for now I'm just gonna make it finger tight. Hold it in place. some adjustment room. So all this kind of falls into place once you get it in position. Really nice. That was easy. Looks great. It's going to be nice. Keep the wind off my face, out of my beard. All right, the saddlebag turned out really nice. It's still wet. Uh, it's I put like six coats on it. Um, I think that the duct tape was the perfect addition to this. Um, I taped it off to where the rubber sealant goes um, over the tape and onto the bag. So I think we got a really good seal and it's gonna last long enough for me to get new bags, which is gonna be quite, quite some time. I think it's gonna be good. We'll have to wait and see and see, road test it. I'll give you an update on that and uh, after I've actually tried it. So there you go, projects for the weekend are done. Windshield on, bag sealed. That's all I got for you. Till next time.